Welcome back. It's Open Exchange West Africa. The threat posed by climate change is an ongoing conversation as leaders across the globe continue to debate on the best ways to mitigate the effect on the environment. Now, reducing deforestation and forest degradation has been identified as one of the ways to address climate change. And Nigeria is taking steps to curb this trend under the United Nations RED program. Now, Nemo Bassi, Executive Director, Environmental Rights Action, joins me on the phone line from Maputo, Mozambique, for more. Thank you so much, Nemo, for joining us. My pleasure. Now, obviously, the Nigerian government is taking, like other countries, is taking the issue of climate change quite seriously. And under the UN RED program, the federal government, but way back in 2009, adopted the development of institutional and technical capacities to help curb uh, the issue of deforestation. Would, how much of an impact would you say that has had on reducing deforestation? Well, the program of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate on climate Change with regard to deforestation called reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation is a program that actually sets um, the forest-dependent communities at great risk. Uh, the program does not, on its own, reduce deforestation. The program actually gives polluters the license to pollute if they buy up carbon credits by securing forests somewhere in the world, somewhere in Africa, in Nigeria, or elsewhere in the global south. So red is actually a big challenge, not a solution. It's a business idea. The idea of stopping deforestation is something that needs to be pursued on its own ground, not based on any market mechanism, not based on carbon credits, not based on giving permits to industrial concerns in the rich countries to keep polluting with the idea that they are paying off for some carbon somewhere else in the world. Okay, in specific terms, what is the Nigerian government doing to address deforestation? The Nigerian government has forestry department uh, whose job includes ensuring that forest, degraded forests are restored. Uh, Nigerian government has, over the years, especially in the 90s, set up national parks. There are also national, na national reserves. Um, so these are attempts to keep forests intact. But over the years, we found that in some places, like where we have the largest remaining forest tracts in Coast River National Park uh, area, the forest reserves have been given to private, increasingly being given to private concerns who are more interested in converting these forests into plantations. And the problem is that the United Nations, including the Food and Agriculture Organization, equate plantations to forests, which is clearly not the, not the experience of forest-dependent communities. Plantations, no matter how many trees you plant there, no matter how big the monoculture is, is not the same as forests. So Nigeria is still losing more and more forests than ever before. But what would you have the federal government do? Because according to the United Nations, Nigeria still has one of the highest rates of deforestation in the world at 3.7%. Uh, very clearly, the Nigerian government is to maintain the forest and to, to reforest has to ensure that communities are not excluded from forest management. So community forest management techniques will be the best way because communities depend directly on the forest. They know that the preservation is for their, in their own interest. It's what they depend on for food, for meat, for uh, protection for the watershed. And so these are the people who are in the front line and are best empowered to keep their forests. All right, thank you so much, Nimo Basi, for sharing and uh, giving us your own perspective on the issue of deforestation, especially here in Nigeria. Nimo Basi, Executive Director, Environmental Rights Action. Moving